Hey everybody, this is Post Production Pie with srlounge.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season. In this video, we're going to be comparing the overall video editing performance within Adobe Premiere between our Asus G75 VW DS73 and our Apple MacBook Pro 15 inch Retina. Now, many of you know that we recently received the latest versions of these two machines which we use inside the studio, which is why we're doing so many comparisons. In the last comparison, we compared the overall Lightroom 4 performance between these two machines, and we saw that the Apple edged out the Asus just a bit by around 10 to 15 percent within Lightroom due to simply having the faster processor. As we mentioned in prior videos, as far as our main mobile workstation, the Asus G75 is our go-to machine, and this is the seventh in that series that we own. So we have two G73s, I think four G74s, and this is our seventh G75. And the reason why is not only is it incredible as far as still editing, you're going to see in this comparison just how powerful it is as far as real-time video editing. Before we jump right in, let's compare the overall specs between each laptop as well as talk about our testing procedures. Now I'm going to pull up Chrome and on the left side you're going to note we have our MacBook Pro. This is configured just as we purchased it and let's go over the upgrades that we made. Unfortunately with these latest MacBook Pros they're making it more and more difficult to upgrade these machines as more items are soldered in which means that we're upgrading things that are going to cost us quite a bit of money actually. With the processor we went up to the 2.7 gigahertz quad-core Intel i7. We have 16 gigs of RAM and we have the 768 gigabyte flash storage drive and this brings us to 3750 before tax. Okay, Just after tax we're going to be paying around 4000 or just over 4000 because we live in California so it's like 4050 with our 8% ridiculous sales tax. As far as the video card on our Apple it doesn't show it on this screen. We have to go back to this one. We can see that it comes with the NVIDIA GeForce GT 650M with one gigabyte of GDDR5 memory. Okay, this is going to be a massive difference that we're going to see in Premiere versus uh, the Asus because the Asus has three gigs. Let's go over to this side and let's compare it with the Asus. So here we have the Asus G75 VW and remember that the last four digits of this model name, so we're using the DS73, is the actual version of the specifications that it comes with. So you can get it in different specs, okay? So if you see different prices, remember that you want to make sure that you're getting the exact same laptop and we have the DS73. So let's go down and see what specs we have. Now the DS73 is the fully upgraded model, so we basically have the uh, i7-3630 and this is a 2.4 GHz processor as opposed to the 2.7. That's where we basically saw the Lightroom 4 difference in speed was simply because of this processor and unfortunately on the Asus that's one thing that we can't really get any better on. We can't really upgrade any further than the 3630. For operating system, we're using Windows 8. I know this is a little bit outdated for some reason, it doesn't have the latest operating system, but it came with Windows 8. Uh, on this side, we're using OS X Mountain Lion. Whoops, I closed that. And then for memory, we have 16 gigs as well. Display, we're using an FHD LED backlight as opposed to IPS. But again, if you saw our comparison, this screen is perfectly sufficient for editing. And it's actually very similar overall to the IPS display. For graphics, this is where we're going to see a huge difference. We have the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 670M with 3 gigabytes of GDDR5 VRAM. Okay, so that's going to be a massive difference in overall speed. In storage, we also have a big difference. This actually supports RAID 0, RAID 1 support with dual hard drives. So inside, we've upgraded it to dual uh, Crucial M4 512 gigabyte SSD drives, and we have those running in a RAID 0 configuration. So we have nearly a terabyte of overall storage compared to 768 gigs on this left side. All right, that's the primary components as far as the Asus. Let's look at the overall price. I have it pulled up on Amazon. With basically the stock model uh, for the DS73 without the M4 upgrades, we're looking at $1857. Now, this is essentially half price compared to the MacBook. Uh, and once we upgrade with the M4 drives, we have the crucial dual SSDs. They run about $380 a pop. So that adds around $750 of cost, but then we sold the two drives that it came with for around $200. So it brings it up to around $2,300, $2,400, final upgraded price. 
which is a huge savings. We're saving around $1,600 compared to the MacBook Pro. We can almost get one and a half machines basically over here on the Asus side. You can get this and a, a desktop for that same price. Okay, so that's the primary difference as far as the overall specs. Now, so let's jump back to Premiere and talk about our testing procedures. Now, what we did was on our desktop, we created basically a Premiere project with one single video duplicated four times so that it fit on the screen. You can see all four. Now, in the bottom left quadrant, we have basically the video unaltered. There's no effects applied. And then each of these other quadrants, we basically applied a, a sort of color grading effect, whether it's contrast and brightness or RGB curves or three-way color grading. Whatever it is, we applied it in the other set sections and then applied settings to it. We then took that project file, transferred it to both laptops, and without rendering any form of previews, we ran it using GPU acceleration to see how each machine performed. Now, rather than using Camtasia to screen capture the performance on each machine, we knew that Camtasia was actually going to adjust or lower the frame rate on both machines because it's going to affect it since we're basically running a separate program to record the screen while doing the playback. So instead of doing that, we ran the playback without anything else running on both machines, and we record the playback on our 5D Mark III as opposed to running it with screen capture. So let's go to that video now and talk about the results. Because both of these machines have video cards that aren't natively supported by Premiere CS6, we did have to perform a simple hack uh, just to enable the Mercury Playback Engine. We'll show you guys how to do that later on, but you can see in both of these files it is enabled. We then made sure that our playback resolution was set to full, and without rendering any previews, we set the slider all the way back to the beginning of the video and began playback. On the right side, we see that the G75VW does a much better job just with that immediate playback, especially when we zoom in on each frame. Zoomed in, you can see that the Apple actually jitters quite a bit more, and we get much more smooth and stable motion from the Asus G75 without applying any additional effects. This is primarily due to the Asus having the GeForce GTX 670M with 3 gigs of video memory as opposed to the Apple's GeForce GT 650M with only 1 gig of video memory. Now in this next test, we're going to take the playback scrub all the way back to the beginning of the file. We're going to start the playback and add in a Gaussian blur in real time. We're then going to make adjustments to that Gaussian blur in real time and just see how well each computer handles these real time adjustments during playback. You can automatically see on the Apple side that adjusting the Gaussian blur not only is there, it's kind of sluggish, but it's also affecting the overall frame rate, whereas on the PC side, on the ASUS side, we can make quick adjustments to the Gaussian blur and the overall frame rate stays intact, it's smooth, and it works incredibly well. So in regards to real-time editing with effects, the ASUS G75 DS73 beat out the Apple MacBook Pro Retina really hands down. There was really no comparison. The ASUS did an incredible job with the overall effects, adding them in real time, making adjustments in real time, which is huge for cinematographers and video editors. Why? Because this means that rather than having to pause the video and then add effects and then make adjustments and do playback and then we'll actually render previews and then do playback, you can do that all in real time while you're editing. It's a tremendous time saver. For our final test, we took each of these project files on the Apple and the Asus. We verified that all of the effects applied to each one of these little clips was identical for each machine, and then we exported them as final 1080p videos. We then recorded the amount of time it took each machine to finish this export process. And here are the results. Now, this might blow your mind. On the Asus G75, we had a final rendering time of 42.9 seconds. On the Apple MacBook Pro Retina, we had 201.4 seconds. This meant that the Asus was 4.7 times or 470% faster than the Apple MacBook Pro Retina. This was due to two things. Once again, the video card, but also in the Asus, remember that we do have our two SSD drives in RAID 0 configuration, which provides faster read and write times compared to the Apple MacBook Pro. So in conclusion, when it comes to video editing, there really is absolutely no comparison between the Asus G75 versus the Apple MacBook Pro Retina, at least within Adobe Premiere. Hopefully you all enjoyed this little comparison, and we'll see you guys in the next video.